on the computer, won't even let her get a permit. What a mean, horrible daddy he is. But having been a professional firefighter in a prior life, uh, I like my kids alive. And 16 is too young, I don't care what the law says, particularly in downstate New York. Sorry, Anne. Now I'm getting, getting some gunk here. It's not looking so good. Um, I'm going to start with a new rag. <coughs> sort of a difficult day in some respects for me. Uh, my, my second son, I've got seven kids, my second son Jimmy is in the Army and uh, he was just deployed He's been in for about three years. He's been to Afghanistan already. Uh, he was just deployed to uh, Iraq. He's in Kuwait right now. He called to try to talk to me today, and I was, of course, not in the office when he called, so I missed his call. I know he's probably going to Baghdad. I think he's going tomorrow, so I'm hoping he has the opportunity to at least call me from Baghdad. He's not one of these soldiers that goes over there and brings a cell phone and you know there's a way I guess the kids can use their cell phones and uh, make calls out with the Iraqi uh, cell phone system and the uh, and the cards they use I forget what they call them not all that cell phone oriented but uh, he said that'd be a violation of operational security he won't do that so when it does uh, can always make telescopes to Try to take your mind off the day's, day's worries. And again, I'm just scrubbing away at this mindless work after a day of being an attorney. I'm getting a lot of junk in here, so you know I'm, I'm scrubbing away, and hopefully I'll get this fairly clean. And I'm going to stand it up and let it dry overnight. It's dry already, but I'm going to give it another shot tomorrow, and it may be the day after. I'm just going to keep at it until I'm satisfied that it's done. And then once I do that, I'll paint the interior of the tube flat black, give it a day or two to dry and set, then I'll reinstall all the optics. By then, the rest of the mount, and it's going to be mounted as a sidewalk telescope. Uh, uh, yeah, it's getting there. Hopefully, I'll be able to have first light within the next week or two. You know, but, uh, you know, you make a mirror, and you've seen my videos, hopefully, on, uh, you know, optical flat and uh, on um, pitch flat making, things of that nature. You know, there's a lot to this. There's an awful lot to this. And it's more than just... Oh, you now we have some more junk in here. I'm getting out. more than just making the optics. That's only half the fun. You know, as a telescope maker, once you make the optics, what do you do with them? Well, you have a shelf full of mirrors in your basement? Well, you know, it's not too terribly useful. You've got to make something to put them in. And that's what we're working at here. Now also, when it comes time to paint it, of course, I'm going to want to mask off everything so the paint doesn't come through the holes and settle on the tube itself, which would be very disappointing. And by the way, uh, you know, again, $2,007, what did it cost me to get this powder coated? Found a really nice man, a very kind gentleman. He did it for $75. Uh, he's a guy who just likes to smile and laugh. I'm real happy with the job he did, Jerry Schmidt. 
and I highly recommend them if you're in New York and you're in the you know the Putnam, Dutchess County, Westchester County area. Uh, very very accommodating. But I've spoken with other people and I've seen on the list, and you know, seventy-five to hundred dollars is is within the right the right range. I wouldn't spend two hundred dollars to have it done, not in two thousand seven dollars. If you're watching this somewhere down the pike and it's still on the internet in 2020, well, I can't tell you what it's going to cost then. I have no idea what inflation is going to be. But uh, 19, uh, $2,007, rather, uh, 75 bucks was a good price. I'm happy. All right, and that's that. Stand up the tube. I'm going to wrap this up in a some sort of a, a cover, probably an old blanket, an old towel. Thank you for watching my video. We had a good time making it this evening. It's now about 8 o'clock on December 10th, 2007 in Brewster, New York. Francis O'Reilly saying have a great night.